hey guys and thank you for stopping by my channel in this video i'm going to show you a few checkered outfits since some people were having trouble with the last checkered outfit video i did i hope to make this one more clear and thorough and i'll leave the outfit components in the description So I'm gonna start by joining GTA Online and then when I load into a session, I'm gonna put on the outfit that I want to keep since this transfer will write over and delete all of your saved outfits. Now we're gonna go to swap characters. Since I'm making female outfits, my second character has to be the opposite, which is a male. And this also has to be done on a brand new character. If your character's not brand new, in the end you will have just wasted a lot of time and a lot of money because it doesn't work unless your character is brand new. I can't stress that enough. Now I'm going online with my second character and I'm going to find the nearest clothing store. Hi. Hi, welcome. Okay, so for my first outfit, I'm going to go over here to the pants and I'm going to put on the gray two-tone sport shorts. Now I'm walking over to tops and I'm gonna put on the black tank top. All yours. The gold curb chain will give you black suspenders or you can use the platinum curb chain for white suspenders. I'm walking over here to the tops again, going to utility vest and putting on the black heavy utility vest. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I'm gonna use it to merge the high spell. gray slip-on smart shoes. The black canvas hat. I'm putting on the deep sea watch for a checkered watch and now I'm gonna walk over here and save this outfit. Now for the second outfit, I'm gonna walk over here to pants and I'm gonna go to the shorts. I'm going to put on the red leopard boxer shorts to get the pink joggers. I'm changing my shoes to the red canvas shoes. I'm 
changing my necklace to the platinum curb chain for white suspenders. Now I'm going over to aviator glasses and I'm putting on the silver eyewear to get checkered glasses. Cool. I'm leaving on the same vest and the shirt underneath. I'm going over here to change my hat to the ash fedora. Now I'm saving this outfit, but I'm going to leave an empty space because I'm going to be merging the belt. For my third outfit, I'm walking over here to the beanies and putting on the gray striped winter hat. I'm keeping the utility vest on, but I'm going to take my shirt off underneath. Here's where I go to change my necklace to the gold curb chain, but for some reason it didn't show up. So I would just leave the platinum curb chain on for the white suspenders. For the pants, I'm going over to shorts and I'm going to go all the way down to put on the squared board shorts. Changing my shoes to the Aris Black sneakers. Now I'm saving this outfit, but I'm leaving an empty space. For my fourth outfit, I'm going over here to the tops and I'm going to suit jackets and putting on the blue sports coat. I'm going to the business shirts and putting on the white business shirt so I can wear a tie. I put on the red skinny tie to get the red bow tie. For the pants, I go to shorts and I put on the purple cargo shorts. And for the shoes, I go to sports shoes and I put on the citrus kicks. Okay. For my hat, I'm going to forward caps and I'm going to put on the frontalac green cap. Now that I've saved that outfit, I'm going to create my last one and I'm going to go over here to put on the sky blue hoodie. Changing my hat to the ash fedora.
here I'm just taking off my glasses and I'm gonna walk over to put on the blue skinny tie to get a black bow tie For the pants, I go over here to the suit pants and put on the charcoal pinstripe to get black stockings. And I'm going to change my shoes to the gray slip-on smart shoes. Once you've saved all of your outfits, you want to walk outside and force a save. Before you go into the creator, you can do this by easy way out, or you can buy ammo, or you can change outfits like I'm doing. And once you see the orange circle in the bottom right hand corner, then you'll know the game is saved and you can go into the creator from there. When you get to the creator, you want to go down to create a race and click the tutorial. As soon as you get to the tutorial screen, you want to open your start menu, go to online and go to choose character. When you get back to the character selection, you want to be very careful in deleting your second character. It'll ask you to type delete. And once you're done doing that, you want to go back to GTA story mode. Do not go back into online. Once you've made it to story mode, go back to online. When you load back in on your first character, you want to go save the outfit that you kept on. And you can see that your outfits have transferred over if you've done it correctly. You can see here that my five outfits have transferred over. Now I'm going to get ready to go into Crooked Cop, but I'm going to put on one of the heist outfits. I'm going to go to the prison guard and I'm going to pick one of those to merge the belt. I'm not going to save this one since this is my first outfit in the first slot. I'm just going to go into Crooked Cop like this. All right, now you can either join someone else's Crooked Cop or you can host your own, but the clothing setting needs to be on player owned. 
Now when I get to this screen, I'm going to go down to Owned Outfit and press right on the D-pad one time. Now I've got my checkered outfit and I've merged the belt onto it. When you get into Crooked Cop, you want to open your interaction menu, go to Style, go to Accessories, Gear, and press left on the D-pad one time to get your LCD earpiece. If you try your rebreather, it'll just take your hat off. After I put on my LCD earpiece, I opened my Start menu and went to find a new session. So when I load in, I'll spawn into my apartment and I can save my outfit there easier and get ready for the next one. Now that I'm in my apartment, I'm going to take my earpiece off and I'm going to go save this outfit. Now that I've saved this outfit, I'm going to go back to Diamond Casino Heist, the group gear, and I'm going to pick this outfit so I can merge the group belt. I'm going to save this outfit in slot number two. Now I'm going to go into Crooked Cop. Remember the clothing needs to be set to player owned. When we get to this screen, you're going to press right on the D-pad until you see that outfit. Then press ready. Open your interaction menu and put on your LCD earpiece. Find a new session, or you can open your phone and just quit the mission. Once I've spawned back into my apartment, I'm going to save this outfit in the closet and get ready for outfit number three. I decided that I want the group belt for my outfit number three. So now I'm going to put on the group outfit again and I'm gonna save this in the empty space above my outfit number three. We're gonna go into Crooked Cop again. clothing set to player owned when you get to this screen go down to owned outfit and press right on the d-pad until you get your outfit number three press ready
When you get into Crooked Cop, open your interaction menu and put on your LCD earpiece. Do not put on your rebreather, otherwise it'll glitch away your hat just like that guy did and you don't want to be that guy. When you've got your earpiece on, you can quit the mission. Now that I've spawned into my apartment, I'm gonna save this outfit. When I went into my closet again and flipped through my outfits, I was able to see the last two. I don't know what that was, but I'm still gonna go into Cricut Cop and show you how to do it that way. Remember in the settings for Crooked Cop, the clothing needs to be on player owned. Now I'm going to owned outfit and I'm flipping through a few times until I get my fourth checkered outfit. Then click ready. When you load in, open your interaction menu and put on your LCD earpiece. Then you can quit the mission. I'm saving this in my closet again, and now I'm gonna get ready to go into Crooked Cop for my fifth and final outfit. Make sure the clothing is set to player owned. Go down to owned outfit and press over until you get your outfit number five. And press ready. And don't forget to open your interaction menu and put on your LCD earpiece before you quit the mission. Now I'm gonna go save this one and in free mode you can see I don't have that invisible piece in the chest anymore. There's no top underneath and I have the bow tie. And that's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you understand and I hope you were able to make some cool outfits. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you guys have a good night.